All right, there's 20 mils of fuel. We're gonna try and get a 1,000 watt test done. One thing I've noticed with this generator is, uh, one, when you start it, it starts in wide open throttle. It doesn't start at an idle and then move up to wide open throttle. It, it's wide open throttle from the get-go. If you look at the linkage, here's the throttle. And uh, that is idle. You can see the idle screw right down there. That is wide open throttle. So one of the reasons why it wasn't uh, even starting or running at all on six liters a minute is because it tends to want to maintain a high RPM for its electrical output. Um, six liters a minute will idle this engine. I'll pop the linkage off, set it down to a, a true idle later on and I'll, I'll get this engine idling on six liters a minute. I'm very confident of that. Um, but it won't run wide open throttle or, or even you know 50% throttle where it normally sits at. So that's that. Also, let's check our fuel right here. Yeah, we got fuel in it. Um, I have to increase the throttle to put a thousand watts worth of load on it. If you just dump it on there, it, it, uh, the inrush current lags the RPM down to such a point that it usually kills the engine, I've noticed. A little irritated at the manufacturers that they didn't have something to take care of that. You know, you advertise a 1200 watt generator, it should be able to take a 1200 watt hit with a 1500 watt peak. But it is what it is. So let's get this thing started. I'll pour the uh, refuse loader port. I'll go ahead and start it and we'll get this going. Artificially bumped the RPM up to get that second light fired off. So you can see once it's going, it stays on. Um, you can hear the, the motor lugging pretty good. So we'll see what it does. I should do this temperature sample before we run out of time. Hold on. Well, it died. So I will fire it back up on an undetermined amount of fuel and uh, we'll do a temperature sample like the rest. Well, see, there you go. Got to redo that test. Had fuel right there.